Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. I'm just going to show you how to set up a, a new WordPress uh, website. Uh, we're going with WordPress.com, which is the uh, free uh, option for WordPress. Uh, it's not fully featured, uh, but it is free and it's very similar to WordPress.org uh, without the bells and whistles. So that's what we're going to do. So up here, just type in uh, WordPress.com and press enter. So you just click on get started. OK, uh, and this is it steps you through. So this is step one of four. Let's create a site. Uh, what name uh, would you like to give your site? So we just say uh, we'll call it uh, my dinner shop. OK, Ooh, spelled correctly. Uh, it'll be about uh, food. OK, uh, what's your primary goal for your site? Um, promote your business is probably the main one here. Um, how we'll start off with not very comfortable and we we'll click on continue. Um, so this is it. Um, you're trying to set up a, a possible uh, website address. So if we type in. Um, Kelly, ba Kelly bags. OK, now it's giving you a number of options here. The one we're going to choose is anything that's free. We don't want to pay for anything. OK, if you have something too simple, um, it'll already have been used. So if you put in Ireland, then Ireland um, will already have been used. So that's why I chose something slightly unusual and nobody has ever looked for that WordPress um, uh, address before. Um, if you don't want um, to have the WordPress in it, you're actually going to have to pay uh, for it. So we're just going to choose this one, which is the free option. And we click on select. Now, uh, again, we don't want any of the fancy stuff. Uh, we're going to go with this one here, uh, which is free. So we're going to start with free and we click in over there. OK, uh, you have to put in your email address and choose a password uh, and continue on. OK. And then you just click on view my site when it comes back to you then. OK, so you can see up here um, is where we have uh, the website address. So the dinner shop killybags dot wordpress dot com is our uh, uh, website address. OK, so to get into the back of this, so I'm just going to keep this tab open here. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to go copy or right mouse click and copy uh, which or control C, which I would normally do. And I'm going to create another tab in here and I'm just going to um, WP which will take me into the back end of this. OK, so this is the back uh, of the website and this is the front uh, of the website and we can move backwards and forwards between the two of them. So um, in here, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the uh, theme that's being used. So we click on appearance, OK, and then we click on themes. OK, uh, and actually, uh, certainly we're only going to look at free ones in the college here. We also um, we're going to use the Radcliffe 2 one here. So if you can't find it immediately, type in Radcliffe 2 here. But uh, for today's class, we're just going to use Radcliffe 2 because it's quite an easy theme uh, to use. So we're going to click on activate. OK, and it says, thank you for using it. And would you like to customize it? Yeah, we'll customize it now. So let's click on customize uh, your site. And we have a list of things here that we could fill in. Uh, now, we're not going to take you through all of them, but we'll start off with the site title, which is very important. Uh, OK, and in here, I'm just going to put in my name. OK, and um, OK, ooh. Uh, yeah, Donegal Education. Um, and uh, we actually would like a logo up the top. So we're going to select a logo uh, and we're going to select some files. And here's a few bits and bobs uh, that we have already. I did do it. Yeah. Uh, so we have this one over here uh, and we put in a caption uh, and we just say uh, D -M logo. Uh, and select. Um, now we can either crop it or not. Uh, I think we will crop it. We'll just use the top half of it there. That's fine. And we'll crop the image. And you can see it's listed up here. 
Okay, and then we we'll click on publish, so that'll go active. Um, and we could uh, put in other um, uh, sort of an, an icon that would appear up here as well. Um, but we we'll leave that for the moment. So we we'll click back in here. Um, other things we can choose, for example, the colors and backgrounds, we can click in here. We can choose from the palettes and, for example, click on that one there. And we could choose uh, different schemes. OK, um, um, that are used throughout. OK, I'm just going to go with this one here. OK, and we'll go publish and then back to our site. Uh, we can put in our contact information. We can choose a different font. Uh, we can choose, for example, a different font that we might like. Um, and we can choose a normal size or small. Uh, and we could choose, for example, a different one in here uh, as your theme. OK, and we click on publish and we go back. OK, um, other things we'll take a look at later are, are the menu layouts. We're not going to actually deal with that one here. Um, and we'll leave the rest of those uh, for the moment. OK, uh, so let's come out of that uh, now and we're back into um, the, the dashboard. OK, so we can actually start off uh, by making some pages. So let's just click on pages there. Um, and here is the front page at the moment. There's not much in it at the moment. So let's just click on edit. And uh, we'll just put in, okay, uh, a little bit of text in here so I know that it works. And I'm going to click on update. So this is me looking at the back end of my site. Let's have a look at how it looks uh, to uh, users now. So remember, this is the back end and this one in here is the front end. Now I'm going to have to refresh it. So you can see uh, the name, the logo, uh, Donegal Education and the text that I put into the web page uh, is here already. I'm going back here to the uh, back end of the website and in reality I'll be putting in some more details in here and I can put in all sorts of other uh, bits and pieces on the website. Okay, that's the end uh, of this video.